we have to find the square root of 8836 using the technique we had seen in the previous video. To use the technique, we need to know the squares of the first 10 digits. And we also know that the square root of a 4 digit number will always be 2 digits long. And the number 8836 will give us the digits. We draw a bar over 2 digits from the right and then draw 1 over the remaining digits. This part gives us the tens digit. The number 88 will give us the tens digit. Where does 88 lie in the squares column? It lies between 81 and 100. It lies between 9 squared and 10 squared. And to get the tens digit, we take the lower of the two. 9 will be the tens digit. How do we get the units digit? The units digit of the number 8836 is 6. It implies that there are two possibilities for the units digit. It can either be 4 or 6. Because both 4 times 4 and 6 times 6 will give us the units digit as 6. But which one will it be? To find that, we multiply the tens digit with its successor. That will be 9 times 10 which gives us 90. Once this is done, we compare this number in the middle with 90. 88 as we can see is clearly less than 90. And that is why we take the lower number 4. As 88 is less than 90, we can say that the square root of 8836 is 94 and not 96. So the tens digit is easily found and for the units digit, we find the product of the tens digit with its successor and compare it with this number in the middle. If the number in the middle is smaller, we take the smaller one here and if it's larger, we take the larger one here. This even works with 5 digit numbers if you know the squares of slightly higher numbers. Let's try finding the square root of 13,689. These are the squares of the first 10 numbers. We use the same technique we used for the 4 digit numbers. We write the number 13,689 down and mark 2 digits from the right. And then we draw a bar over the remaining digits. We look at this number, the number 136. It is greater than 100. 11 squared is 121 and 12 squared is 144. 136 lies between these two. It lies between 11 squared and 12 squared. And we take the lower of the two, 11. Now the units digit of the number is 9. It means that the units digit of its square root will either be 3 or 7. 3 times 3 is 9 and 7 times 7 gives us the units digit as 9. To know which of these two will be in the units digit, we multiply 11 with its successor. 11 times 12. That equals 132. Now this number in the middle is greater than 132. 136 is greater than 132. As 136 is greater than 132, we choose the larger of the two. The square root will equal 117 and not 113. That's how we can find the square roots of large numbers really fast. Okay, forget large numbers. What if I asked you to find the square root of 164? How will you find it? 164 is not a perfect square. So how will you find the square root? That's exactly what we will cover in the next few videos.